Oxygen, the eighth element on the periodic table, best known as that somewhat important thing we have to breathe in order to live. Oxygen was discovered in 1774 by Joseph Priestley when he used a 12-inch wide glass lens to focus sunlight on a lump of mercuric oxide. Priestley found that a candle would burn and a mouse would thrive in this gas. This new element was given the name oxygen from the Greek words oxus and genus, meaning acid forming, based on the incorrect belief that it was a component of all acids. Oxygen has an atomic mass of 16 and is typically found as a colorless, odorless gas. It's highly reactive and easily forms compounds called oxides with most elements. In our bodies, oxygen helps break down glucose into ATP, carbon dioxide, and water in a process called cellular respiration. Oxygen can do this because it is an oxidizer which means it accepts electrons from a fuel substance in a chemical reaction called oxidation reduction. This exchange of electrons allows oxygen to bond with the atoms from the fuel, which releases energy. Think of oxygen as a key that unlocks the energy stored in fuel. When combined with heat, like a spark, it breaks the first few chemical bonds, releasing energy in the form of heat and light. Luckily, oxygen is readily available for us to breathe, but when Earth first formed, there was no free oxygen in the atmosphere. All the oxygen was trapped in minerals and compounds like carbon dioxide and water, it wasn't until the emergence of photosynthetic organisms like cyanobacteria that carbon dioxide and water were converted into glucose and free oxygen. Today, oxygen is abundant on Earth, making up 46% of the Earth's crust and 21% of the atmosphere. These levels are crucial for life because below 17%, breathing can become difficult, while above 25%, many organic compounds become highly flammable. The oxygen in the atmosphere can be extracted by passing clean, dry air through zeolites, which absorb nitrogen and leave oxygen. Oxygen is relatively cheap to extract, only costing about 10 cents per kilogram. The greatest commercial use of oxygen is in the steel industry, where it reduces carbon content in molten iron by oxidizing impurities. It's also used to manufacture a wide range of chemicals including nitric acid, hydrogen peroxide, and epoxy ethane, which is used in antifreeze and polyester production.